Hey guys, back again. We'll be working on the fourth axis a little bit. I've got page 10 of the PDF pulled up here. For uh, We're gonna do some wiring. We're gonna get the connectors wired up so we can get them in the Tormach. Once, it's still waiting on the driver. You know, China's not close and I went with the cheaper one because I'm not in a big hurry to get, to get everything. So driver should be here in the next week or so. We'll start getting it wired up. I still have to machine a mount for the motor to the fourth axis. So we got plenty to do between now and then. All these parts, part numbers for DigiKey will be down below in the description. Go right over here and click the subscribe button. Click the notification button if you want to be notified when I post a new video. Because there's all kinds of fun stuff. You can watch me crash the Tormach every once in a while and uh, fiddle around with some of this stuff. All right, let's check her out. Reference the Manuel. All right, we need our panel connector because that's what I'm wiring up here, not the motor connector. And panel connector, we'll get these guys. These are numbered, and you're not going to see them on here, I guarantee it. But we've got a one, man, that knife is dirty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's make sure that corresponds with our drawing. It does. This is the plug in. This is going to be on the outside, That's what this cap will go on for. So we're putting our wires in here. Unfortunately, Tormox drawings are very, very well documented. So we've got 320, and that goes into pinhole number one. And it just pushes in there and locks right in. One. As you can see, we've got it right there now. Okay, lesson learned. When crimping these, be careful not to flare out that end. I got a couple of these just a little bit out around to where they don't want to go into their respective holes. There we go. And as you can see, we now have connectors here. We'll put these on the motor side and they're a simple slide in pin fit. As you can tell, I'm setting up an enclosure and it's only setting in place, so must be careful. 
I'm using some uh, Genesis cable that I just happened to have from Honeywell. I'm going to end up running two of these. It is shielded. It is low voltage rated. And I'm just simply giving myself enough to be able to loop it around to where the motor will sit. Should come up there. Should be right there. And that should be more than plenty. So let's cut it. These parts are in the description below. Please click on the subscribe button, follow along, and if you want to get notified, hit the bell so that you get a notification whenever I post up a new video. Because I've got new stuff coming out. We've still got to machine the, the motor mount. We've got to wire up the motor. We've got to wire up the tour mount. So that's where we're at for now. Till then, we'll see you later.